My name is Chris Roth, and I'm the commercial manager for Lab Essential Equipment. And today we'll be walking through an unboxing and general product overview for the new Thermoscientific TSV Manual Defrost Value Laboratory Freezer. The new TSV Manual Defrost Laboratory Freezer represents a significant advancement in performance and environmental impact over legacy value line freezers. With significant new alternative policy, or SNAP compliant hydrocarbon refrigerators and foam, the new TSV Manual Defrost Freezer has significantly lower environmental impact. Equipped with a new adjustable microprocessor control and digital display, accompanied by a temperature set point range of minus 10 to minus 22 Celsius degrees, the new TSV Manual Defrost also represents a significant performance improvement over legacy units. In this video, we will explore what your new TSV Manual Defrost Freezer will look like when it arrives, how to properly unbox and situate your unit within your lab space, and go over a number of key features that sets the new TSV Manual Defrost Freezer apart from other manual defrost units. For further questions and specifications, please consult the user manual. In preparation to receive your new TSV Manual Defrost unit, carefully review the product dimension information to ensure your facility is properly equipped to receive and transport the new unit to its location of use. Carefully take into account the product height and width to ensure that it's able to clear any ceilings, doorways, or elevator openings. Also note the weight of the unit and prepare with appropriate number of staff and with appropriate equipment to receive and transport the unit. The unit comes equipped with two rolling rear wheels, but these should not be used or relied upon as a means to move the unit over a long distance. It is recommended that the unit be properly moved by handcart or forklift. While moving the unit, do not tilt it beyond 45 degrees from upright. When you receive your new TSV Manual Defrost Freezer, visually inspect the exterior protective cardboard packaging. If you notice any damage to the packaging, document the damage and immediately report the issue to your sales representative or transportation company. Failure to request any inspection of damages within a few days after the receipt of shipment may absolve the carrier of any liability for damage. Prior to removal of the exterior packaging, ensure you have moved your unit to the location in immediate proximity to the intended area of use. This will help you prevent any damages that may occur in transporting the unit inside of your facility. Check the user manual for recommendations in selecting a location for use. Choose a location that provides a clearance of 12 inches at the top, 2 inches at the rear, and 2 inches on each side. After moving the unit and reviewing the external packaging to find it intact, locate the seam or connecting point of the cardboard wrapping. The cardboard protective packaging is constructed as a single piece and should wrap around the four sides of the unit, meeting at one corner location. Once the seam or connecting point has been located, you can use a utility knife to cut the cardboard box top to bottom directly adjacent to the seam or connecting point. When the protective cardboard packaging has been cut at the seam, carefully remove the cardboard from around the unit. After removal, the cardboard packaging can easily be folded and condensed for convenient disposal and recycle. After removal of the protective cardboard packaging, you will notice that the unit does not come attached to the wooden pallet at the base. Removal of the pallet base requires manual lifting and repositioning off the pallet. Follow recommended safety processes and use appropriate equipment when lifting and moving the unit. Once removed from the wooden pallet, the unit can be rolled into its location and the pallet can be properly disposed of. Let the freezer stand upright for approximately 24 hours before connecting it to the power. This reduces the possibility of malfunction in the cooling system from improper handling during transportation. The next step in setting up your new TSV manual defrost freezer is leveling the unit. It's very important for the freezer to be leveled. If the freezer is not leveled during installation, the doors may not close or properly seal, causing cooling, frost, or moisture problems. To level your freezer, rotate the leveling feet clockwise to raise or counterclockwise to lower. It is recommended to have someone push against the top of the freezer to help take some weight off the leveling foot, making it easier to adjust. Prior to plugging the unit in, carefully review the electrical connections, considerations, and warnings outlined in your user manual. Do not remove, under any circumstances, the grounding prongs from the three-prong power cord supplied with the unit. When it has been determined that your facility meets the electrical connection needs, plug the unit in and let it run for two to three hours. Once the unit is plugged in, the display screen will turn on and display the unit temperature information. The unit will come set at factory temperature set point of minus 20 Celsius degrees. If you would like to program it to an alternative set point, 
follow the following four steps. One, push the set key more than two seconds to change the set point value. Two, the value of the set point will be displayed and the snowflake icon on the LED screen will start blinking. Three, to change the set value, push the up or down arrows within 10 seconds. Four, to save the new set point value, push the set key again and wait for 10 seconds. To learn more about your new Thermoscientific TSV manual defrost freezer, visit thermofisher.com forward slash manual defrost freezer or reach out to your local Thermoscientific sales representative.